Hey, this is uh, CJ Spatula here with a hacking tutorial on how to get past hack this site. Now, I'm going to show you the basic challenges here. And it it is pretty pretty basic as we go through here. The first level is kind of a test to see if you know how to get into the HTML source code. So here I go and I have Firebug. Um, installed with my Mozilla Firefox as you just saw there you could use Firebug or the regular inspect element now if you don't have this you could press F12 on most computers and the source code will show up for you now the source code here is a little commented out section with the password in it so if you go up to the site and then type in the password um, this will gain you access to the second level So now, now we're in the second level, and what's happening here is it's showing us that he didn't upload the, the password file. So actually, it's not checking, checking for anything. So you don't have to hit anything in the submit box, and you can bypass the system. Level three, uh, he did upload the password, and we have to find it again. So I go ahead and open up my uh, fire. Uh, actually, I, I go ahead and inspect the element. It's an easier way to click on whatever you want to see. And in this, I'm looking around for anything of value. And here I find it. It's password.php. It's a file that's hidden in the site that we found by looking at the source code. Pretty simple stuff. So you add password.php to the end, and there's the password in a string of text. So I go ahead and copy and paste that. Now for level 4. And if we inspect this a little closer, we'll see that he has a little button here that actually sends him an automatic reminder of his password. So I'm going to inspect that button and see what comes up. Now again, I'm looking in the source code. Uh, the, these, these first levels are fairly simple. Uh, this one's one of the harder ones because obviously the password is being sent somewhere. So it's trying to intercept it, I guess, if you will. Uh, that that error there was actually my computer telling me <laughs> my recording was slowing down my computer, so I don't bother with that. This is on my laptop, so so again, inspect the element. We're looking for anything of value, um, and it should be sending to an email. Is what we're looking for. Uh, this is actually my second run through of this. I, I did this once to see if I could do it and uh, did accomplish this. Thought I could make a video, see if I could remember it again. So here, uh, in, in this little section of the code, we found an email. And it uh, is hidden. The value is whatever. So right here, I tell you, you just have to mess this up. You just have to throw in a different valid email. It won't actually send you an email, no. But it's checking for the, valid the, the validity of the email and when it does this uh, the script in hack this site will say that yes this person has completed this assignment it would have sent to their email so I actually didn't put in my email there I just told you that you had to mess it up but uh, here I will go ahead and put in my email Uh, but it doesn't actually bother me that you're seeing my email here in just a second. Because this is actually my spam, e spam email anyway. So go ahead and put a valid email in. Uh, 
and go ahead and click that button and there's your password go ahead and copy and paste that Start my music there, huh? <laughs> I'm listening to dubstep while I hack. Well, that's a cool function too. You can throw on a repeat at the end of YouTube, so it'll be repeat youtube.com, whatever, and it'll actually repeat your song. Yeah, if you didn't know that. Alright, so now back to hacking. I believe this is level five. And in this he has the same script running, but what happens is it's um, he actually got smarter and didn't run it in such a crappy script. Um, but you can actually do the same thing, just a little bit differently. You can go and view that same thing, and that, that attribute that we looked at earlier, that hidden attribute of his email, you can change that to visible here in just a second. I'm going to the HTML here again finding where that was I mean, you have to be somewhat familiar with HTML to do this I mean it's not that hard especially if you have firebug and stuff like this it's um it's gonna be fairly simple to go in here and change things around for a live script post so again going in here and trying uh, yeah I tried I tried to mess up the email again but his script is uh, smarter so what we're gonna have to do is go to the attribute next to it change it to visible while oh, it's on the page at least it, it worked out for me I mean hey some some things just work out like that So here's here's the button file and yep, here we go. Type to visible. Now when I do this, you'll see there's a little box that comes up next to the button, and this is the email that's going to send to. So now I'll go ahead and put in a valid email. Send the password to Sam. And look at that. There's your password right there. Copy that. And paste. And if you read this whole thing, I think this one is, yep, the, the encrypted one. And this one is the one that takes people the longest time to figure out, I think. And that's because it's going back and looking at math class again. And <laughs> unfortunately in this video, I kind of fail at that. But what I do here is I look up, I know because I ran through it once, that it's an ASCII uh, converter. So what what it does is takes the index value of whatever uh, button that you press, say I press a B, and that has a specific value in it for ASCII. Say that value for a B is 21 or something like that, right? So if I press B, it's saying that that number is 21. Well, the first number in this will always be the same. But the second number, according to wherever it's, it's at in the list of the string that you put in, like second th number, third number, it's going to be minus whatever that number is, minus 1. So the second number is actually going to be minus 1. So you're looking at, if I put BB in the encryption, it'll come up as B, say that was 21. So the first letter is going to be B. The second letter is going to be 21 minus 1, which is going to be 20, which could be V on your keyboard. So right here, I'm I'm trying to figure it out. This is uh, uh, 
this was recorded at night and I could not figure out how to describe that any better. Um, it, if you get my point, it's always one minus. So here I'm showing you how I'm getting this code. So I put in a line of string. I put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and I came out one, three, five, seven, nine, semicolon equals question mark a nine. Now that's because the the ASCII values are uh, cooperative in that manner. I I knew that it was ASCII. So if you go ahead and Google an ASCII table like I did, you will come up with something with all the letters and all the index numbers and you just find the number that you that the encrypted password is and you minus from wherever it is in the string so the first number is always going to be the same so I think the uh, yeah, I can't remember the password it'll go back to it in just a second This, this is actually my first narration, guys, so um, testing it out. <laughs> so let's go back to the main page here. And this is a password that it wasn't, it, there was a password that was sent in, and this is the encrypted value that came out. So to decrypt it, we're going to do the one minus method. So the first number is always going to be 3, right? Because the first number is whatever is in there. But the other one's going to be minus 1, and the other one's going to be minus 2. And because they're numbers, I know that those are next to each other in the ASCII index values. So you can just go down with those ones. So it'll be 3, 6, and 5. But for the semicolon, uh, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to have to look at that in that table here in just a second. So here I'm trying to show you guys it, it's a simple algorithm and I can't remember it. I can't even remember it right now. So n would be the index number of the ASCII. So say the 3 was 21 or b was 21. So it'd be 21 minus 1 be 20 actually. Uh, fail hardcore there because that is not the actual thing. <laughs> don't don't bother with me being stupid. So here in just a second. So uh, if you, if you're liking the tutorial, please um, subscribe, like the video. Uh, I'm gonna throw up the other missions up there sometime eventually. Um, I'm actually working on another video that me and my friends made. It has nothing to do with hacking at all, but uh, shout out for senior week. Woohoo! Graduation of 2012, and um, Epic Sax guy. So that video will be up there soon. That's in unrelated news. So let's look at this again. Let's bring up that table here. So here's the table, and now I'm going to. I'm going to find out where the semicolon is, and I believe it's, yep, I counted backwards from the semicolon there. One, two, three, four, five, and I actually counted back uh, more this run. I'm going to have to go back here in just a second, but there's, there's one, two. Three, four, five, six, because that was the next number in. But it, it's actually five for that one, and I 
messed up and I realized that here in two seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think is what I counted it. That's that awesome. Well, then you just go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Although that one should be seven again. <laughs> Found that here in just a second. But live and let learn. Um, sometimes simple mistakes are made, and this is the result of that. So I, I'm feeling all big and bad here, and copy and paste this password that I think is right. Um, and turns out, whoops, made a mistake somewhere. And I I thought about it for just a split second and realized what had happened. And you see here, I I realized right there was my mistake. So I go ahead and delete from where I think I made my mistake. And I'll look at this one more time. Actually, I actually encrypted to see what happened here. So you can use that encrypter to your advantage to see where you messed up, because it'll give you the first whatever you had right. So I actually had, I think I had 377 semicolon correct, and then the rest after that was trash. And here I go back to the index file and count backwards for the value that I needed to find. And my stepbrother's interrupting on my narration for YouTube. It's okay. We're going to continue on anyway. And yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. And we're going to count backwards in the index continuously until we have our final decrypted hash value. So I'll check it to make sure it's right. And it is. And we're going to paste that into the password. And this second, um, this second challenge requires knowledge of Unix or Linux, actually, to know what you're going to put in there. Uh, the Unix command that is being used in this challenge is Sam has set up a, uh, a secure password, and it's hidden in a database uh, within the website that you're at right now. And he put in a little script there so that you can see what year it is if you type in, um, it, it's a calendar script. Now what I typed in there was the ampersand sign twice and ls. Now this lists everything in that website and it actually gave me a file extension. And there's the password, so we're going to copy and paste that. And that was a simple Linux command to bypass um, the the database tables to view all those. So this next challenge, he uh, he has a daughter in this one, and she is good in PHP scripting. So this is another version of seeing the lists in a PHP script. And what we're going to do with this is it's going to run in a command line. And actually, I have this typed up here. I um, I remembered this command. It, it runs. It runs exactly what we ran in the last one, uh, just with the PHP. So this again is going to list all the files in the database with a uh, in a string of text. So here it is, and it uh, this is PHP script. Now, if you're not familiar with PHP, you can go brush up on it a little. Uh, it's not too difficult to figure out. 
So again, I submitted that, and now instead of showing my name, like if you put in your name for that script, like it said, it actually lists out databases in there. So I put in the file extension that was there that I figured would have the password in it since it was encrypted, and there's your password. So copy that over and paste it in the password. Congratulations. Uh, next level. This next level, um, he actually uh, he moved the password up a couple databases. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the coding to something that'll go up the directory that we need to. And if you know anything in PHP, you know that to go up a directory, you use a dot dot or uh, period period and that will go up a directory so we actually use that in the last coding that we had and we specify that it's going to be uh, that slash 9 file that we saw there instead of the slash 8 because this is challenge 9 now so I again have pre-typed that code up you saw in that other notepad document I actually have all the passwords and stuff from the first run through that I did of this and it took me uh, maybe 40 minutes now this video is taking me longer or a significant amount of time because I'm trying to go slow to show you guys and especially that one challenge with the ASCII um, coding took a while I wanted to make sure you guys got it but I probably confused you more than helped you <laughs> So here's that code, and you'll notice it's a little bit more extended because it's got the directory um, up in it. So we're going to go back to challenge 8, actually, and we're going to use that same script. We're going to paste that into the script, and what we get is a different PHP file. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to have to go back to level 9 again and paste that in, not level 8. So we're going to input the password for level 8 again to get back to level 9. <laughs> or you can just you know, navigate to level 9. It doesn't matter. I'm just whatever, being cool here. Putting in the password for level 8 again. Um, save that save that PHP file extension because we're going to throw that in here right now. I'll bring that up. So here's that PHP extension. I already had it written down. Copy that. I'll paste it up here in the end. And we're going to look at this file. And the string comes up with da, 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 a password. I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. And congratulations. Now, this is level 10. Notice there's no words. This is all on you now. But uh, don't fret. This is what hackers, I guess, face. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> uh, like like I said, I'm going to be doing more of these videos, I guess, with the realistic challenges. And I'm Actually, last night, after this, I had done the realistic challenges, and I think I'm on number four right now, or number five. And I'll show you guys what I've found out so far. But for this challenge, like I said, we're going to look at something, and I'm typing out here, I'm telling you guys that we're going to have to figure out a way um, to look at something, and it's not going to be something simple, obviously. It's not going to be in the HTML this time. Um, what I've come to found out, though, is that this is uh, not JavaScript necessarily, but it's using cookies. What happens here is I, I mess up in the video because I had already done this challenge, and I figured it out, and I, I pressed submit, and it shows completed because this is um, it's based on cookies and what, what that is is temporary internet files that tell you whether you have visited or not and what we're gonna do is change that to say that we have or that we have access to that file in particular and to do that I used firebug uh, it's pretty easy to navigate through it's just like you've been seeing all this time. Now, 
I'm telling you here that I, I did mess up. <laughs> I I had I should have cleared my cookies first to show you guys this last level. But we're gonna go in and check on that now. And I I realized it was cookies in the coding because you can go through and um there's other uh Mozilla Firefox plugins that you can get that will show you these things and you look them up. Um can't remember the one that I had used. I'll post it in the description maybe and it fairly simple. But I noticed that there was a cookie value in it and so what I did was I wrote up a little script here that I can post in the Firebug console. And so here's the little script and it's you can do this in JavaScript at the end of the URL or you can do this in Firebug with this small code. And this will change our cookie value to, yes, we do have permission to access this site. So right there, I pasted it in the console. And click Submit, and there you go. You've completed Challenge 10, and that will work for you. And that's all of the basic challenges um, in sequence. I messed up a little on a couple of things to show you guys. Uh, but I hope you guys have seen all the things that I've done. This was basic challenges going through the HTML and people, you know, Sam, security Sam messing up and, you know, putting the password in a commented out section in the HTML, you know, in a, in a file that can easily be accessed. But things like these might help you later uh, if you know if you know these small vulnerabilities in people's personal websites and things like that um, you can you can navigate pretty easily and especially gaining access to certain files with passwords and usernames and stuff like that that's this is this is small is a touch base of where it's at so if you've enjoyed my video please uh throw Throw down that click on that subscription button and the like button. Uh, and I'm going to have more up here. Hoping to do more YouTube videos over the summer. Uh, and especially the narration. I mean, I don't have any music to throw on there. I didn't have time to find any that YouTube won't pull down. Yada yada. You know, the copyright thing going on. It's kind of bad, but... Uh, Maybe next one, commentary, background music, you decide in the comments. Um, again, this is CJ Spatula. Um, always will be. This is this is my account, and I'm hoping to become a YouTube partner. So, uh, props up for that. Bye, guys.